In this video, I'll teach you how to make this presentation using PowerPoint. I'm using PowerPoint from Microsoft 365, so let's get started. For this presentation, I'll get most of my assets from you.com. And first, I'll create the images that I'll need. So I'll click on the Create tab and ask for an image of a stormy ocean surface where the bottom of the ocean is also visible. I ask for five variations, and these are the results that I got. And this will be the background of our porthole, so I think this one will work perfectly. I'll download it and also link it in the description of this video in case you want to use the same one. I'll also need a panoramic view of the Titanic at the bottom of the ocean. And I got this very cinematic shot, so I'll download it as well. And for the content of my presentation, I'll click on the Research tab and ask to give me a timeline of the Titanic from creation to wreckage. And I love that you.com searches for different topics related to your question and also lists all the sources from where that information is coming from. So this is the content that I'll use for my timeline and I'll also add it to the assets folder in the description box of this video. In that folder, you can also find all the PNGs that I'm using for this presentation. And I'll start with the second slide. So I just inserted the chain picture and place it in the middle of the slide. And I'll also add the plaque in our slide, which is where we'll add each date from our timeline. Let's also bring the anchor PNG from the folder and I'll just make it smaller and put it right here at the bottom outside of the slide. I'll also rotate it slightly like this. Now I'll go to insert text box and I'm using a font called Thompson that I downloaded online and I'll increase the font size and also change the color to a dark brown. Holding shift on your keyboard, you're gonna select everything and you're gonna right click on it and group it. And now let's insert a new slide. So right click on this area and click on new slide. Then go to layout and select blank. Amazing. Let's right click on it, go to format background and change the color of the background to black. I'll bring in the image of the water that we created with AI. And I'm going to make a few adjustments to this image. So right click on it, go to format picture. And here in the image panel, we can change the temperature. So it looks a little bit bluish. And I'll also increase the contrast and decrease the brightness slightly. From the effects panel, I'm going to soften the edges to around 40 points. And then I'm going to click on the drop down from crop and crop it to a circle. We're going to be working on two slides simultaneously. So let's go to the second slide and pick a gradient for the background. We should only have three gradient stops where both ends are black and the middle one is navy. If you have more stops, you can just drag them down to get rid of them. So let's go back to the first slide and then we're going to copy this image that we have and we're going to go to the second slide and paste it right here. Right click on it and send it back. Now you're going to select the group with the chain and the date and you're going to copy it and go to the first slide and paste it with Ctrl V. And on this slide, we're going to drag it up outside of the slide. On the second slide, we're only going to select the background image and make it larger and we'll move it up like this. For this image, let's soften the edges even more and then click on the image icon right here, scroll down to picture transparency and let's increase the transparency slightly. It's time to go back to the first slide, go to insert and start adding our text boxes for our title. And I'm just going to align the text boxes to the middle of the slide. Make sure that everything fits within the circle because then we're going to add the porthole PNG. And now I'm just going to copy this title, go to the second slide and paste it with Control V and let's just move it up outside of the slide. Now I'll add the porthole PNG that I found online. Remember that all of these assets are linked in the description box of this video. They're free. And I'll just make this image slightly larger. I'll make some quick adjustments. So right click on the image, go to format picture, click on the image icon and then on picture corrections. And here I'm just going to decrease the brightness and increase the contrast. I will also decrease the saturation slightly so it looks a little bit more real. And now I'm going to select this image, Ctrl C and paste it into the next slide with Ctrl V. And here I'm just going to make it larger holding Ctrl and Shift on your keyboard. And again, I'll click on the image icon and decrease the brightness so it looks darker. So now if you go to transitions and click on morph, you have this super cinematic effect. Now it's time to start adding our text. So on the second slide, I'm just going to add the headline and my description. And I also added an image that I'm going to rotate slightly. To create the frame for the image, just right click on it, go to format picture 
and here on the paint bucket we're gonna go to line and select a solid line and just increase the width let's duplicate this slide with ctrl d and here we can get rid of the porthole of the background and the title as well and it's just a matter to start replacing our content so replacing the date replacing the image and replacing the description and title for this slide and here we're just going to go to transitions and click on push now you can obviously add as many slides as you like but for the last one we're going to reach the bottom of the ocean right so i'll just move the group with the chain and the anchor up and if you click a second time on the group you'll be able to select the plague and the date and move it down so again i'll just add a title and a description to this slide and let's add our remaining assets so i'll pick the image of the titanic and insert it again let's click on the drop down from crop crop to shape and select a circle then right click on the image go to format picture and here let's soften the edges as well to around 55 points and from the image icon let's increase the transparency to around 51 percent right click on it and send it back and then just align it and finally we're going to select the sandbank image and insert it into this slide and put it right here at the bottom let's do some final alignments make sure that the transition is push and that's it guys that's how you make this awesome presentation in powerpoint you can download these slides from my website the link is in the description box of this video check out these other tutorials that i have for you thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time Go!